At Mission Barbecue, our mission is to serve. The core of our brand is that of a service heart. Newt and I talk about this brand got a lot bigger than he and I a long, long time ago. And when I think about some of the folks that have walked through our doors, that the good Lord has put in our lives, I think about Josh Mitchell and who this man is. If you need anything, I'm Josh, let me know. Boy, I'm inspired by people like Josh Mitchell. Here? Yeah. I met Josh. I interviewed with him at another restaurant concept. I told him that I would never be late, I would never miss work, that I was very dependable, except for one thing, I had a son with special needs and he was in and out of the hospital. Listen, you have to wear this the entire time, okay? Josh said to me, hey, do you mind if I ask, but what kind of special needs does your son have? Oh my goodness. And I said, well, I have a one-year-old with Down syndrome. No, me. He's like, oh wow, you know, my dad's best friend's son had Down syndrome and I was raised with him. Who's taller, you or me? No, uh, no. Nate is? Let's see, back to back. Just from that point on, it was just the easiest thing for me to talk about. Now who's Gosh. taller? <laughs> After us getting to know each other and him getting to know my children, to choose us and our family, he made that choice. And he definitely did let everybody know, this is my choice. I know! This is who I choose to be my family, and this is it. This is what I want. <laughs> How awesome is that? That's so awesome. He did. Two years ago, Nate was hospitalized with something as simple as the rhinovirus, which is just the common cold to all of us. But for Nate, his um, immune system just can't handle it. They needed to intubate him, and while he was intubated, he was also heavily sedated. Josh just took over for me. I had a very difficult time being in Nate's face without crying, without my hands shaking, without hearing the quiver in my voice, talking to him and trying to soothe him, because I knew he could still hear us. But Josh was able to just step up where I couldn't, and I'm the mom, and he was able to get in Nate's face and just say, buddy, we're here, we love you, and just reassure Nate that everything was going to be okay. Oh man, look at that. He's always been that way with our family, with Nate. It's always given, and to me, that's a servant's heart. Proud of you. I tell you, Josh Mitchell, number one, he's tall and he's bald. And you can't miss him, but you can't miss him in your life because Josh cares about you. Two, we got you. You got me? Yeah, I got you. Yeah. Okay. Get comfortable. We'll bring it out to you. Josh will make a connection. Yeah. Good. Starting my senior year of college Starting today. your senior yeah. year of college. Chase, how are you, Good sir? Good to see you, Josh. He has a genuine interest in the folks that come into the restaurant. And not just the customers. He has a genuine interest in the well-being of our teammates. Alfredo, how you been? Taco, you've been good? Yeah. What's new, anything? Everything is good? Today being a Monday, uh, first day, uh, Josh is back in Perry Hall. This one coming in She did the hospital now. Mm -hmm. First thing that I mentioned to him was just that one of our teammates experienced a little family accident this weekend. So this is his first day back. Kenny, have we, have we sent some food with him down to help out? It's proactive as, you know, it's second nature to him. You know, he was very interested and concerned. Tienes otra familia a la a la hospital ahora con tu esposa? Tienes otra familia en el hospital? La esposa de mi tío. Maybe hoy uh, comida por todo, okay? You know, once Josh goes in, you know, I'm sure that everything is covered in then so so that Taco knows that you know we're there for him. What's the team doing tomorrow? So we did have food scheduled for them tomorrow. A few years ago, Josh had a great idea to take a group of our teammates from Perry Hall down to the 9-11 Memorial Museum in New York City. And he wanted to do this as a way to educate our teammates here really about the foundation of our brand and why we serve here at Mission Barbecue. I went to the 9-11 
museum maybe two years ago with Josh and his wife with a bunch of our other teammates. I didn't know um, what I was getting myself into um, because I was very young when 9-11 happened. I don't remember anything, I don't know really anything about it, just the stories that I've heard here, and pictures that I've seen. So I'm really glad that they set that up for us, just so I can learn about more about what happened and what our store represents. I personally was not on that trip, but I just recently got to go. And again, it was the idea that Josh started this. He wanted to make sure that all of our teammates here were educated and could experience the memories and the lives that were touched and hurt on 9-11.